everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Nature City Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Prodelli, and I'm also the CEO and co-founder of Nature City, having started the company over 20 years ago with my wife, Beth. And since then, it's been our pleasure to have served over 500,000 Americans by offering them the best supplements we can make. This week, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics because it's kind of um, underrated in terms of how it can help you. And the subject is oral probiotics. So those are probiotics that don't work in your, in your gut, but actually work in the oral cavity in your mouth. Now, you may know about the gut microbiome in our intestines, which we support with probiotics. Also important is this oral microbiome in our mouth, where we need to maintain a healthy balance of the good bacteria versus the bad or less good bacteria so they can coexist and support our, our health. Uh, today, in particular, we're going to talk about two oral probiotics that offer numerous benefits. Uh, these range from helping with dental health, so maybe um, helping keep our gums healthy, helping keep our teeth healthy, being you know less prone to cavities, uh, targeting bad breath at its root cause, and also supporting upper respiratory health. And by that, we mean the health of our ears, ears, nose, and throat. Now, these oral probiotics were developed by Prof- Professor John Tagg, who's a microbiologist from New Zealand. When Professor Tagg started doing his research, you know, probiotics for the gut were just kind of coming of age. So he wondered if probiotics could also help the oral cavity in our mouth. And in particular, Professor Tagg focused his research on why certain individuals were more susceptible to oral health problems, you know, ranging from upper respiratory illnesses to dental problems. Why are certain people more susceptible to these than other people in the population? And he discovered what he thought was the answer. About 10% of humans are able to produce a naturally protective Streptococcus salivarius microorganisms in their mouth. Okay, so these are, these are good bacteria that act to help, you know, uh, balance the bad bacteria, and they're called Streptococcus salivarius. Now, that's great for that 10% of the population, but to help the other 90% of us, Professor Tagg developed two of these strains for use as oral probiotics in supplements. The first strain is called Bliss K12, and it helps stimulate the immune system to help support upper respiratory health and also help reduce bad breath, and this works in both children and adults. The second strain is called Bliss M18, and it works more directly on dental health, helping protect you know, teeth and gums. Um, it really works by reducing the overgrowth of bacteria that increase, you know, can increase cavity risk, you know, can uh, result in greater plaque formation, you know, which can translate into, you know, you know, you know, gum, you know less gum bleeding, um, and just healthier gums and teeth in general. Now, you want these probiotics to co- colonize in the mouth and oral cavity, right? So taking them as a capsule, which you swallow, isn't advised. You want to take a lozenge that dissolves in your mouth so, you know, the probiotics can then kind of colonize uh, where they can be useful. At Nature City, we have a lozenge called True OC, one of my favorite products, that contains both the Bliss K12 and the Bliss M18 strains. And we also have aloe vera in there, which um, has been a subject of a lot of interesting research with respect to um, oral health and um, you know, helping out with uh, dental health as well. So True OC is like, is like an orange flavored mint, essentially, right? You know, it dissolves in the mouth in about a minute. We package them all individually because these are live organisms. The Bliss K12 and the Bliss M18 organisms, they're live. And we're going to keep them them that way until you use the product. That's why we package them individually in these little blister packs. So you just take, pop one out, pop it in your mouth, let it dissolve in the mouth, and it goes to work. Now, before I tell you more about the Bliss K12 and Bliss M18 strains, I really want to share my personal experience with these strains and True OC because it's why I'm so passionate about this product. So about eight years ago, I was struggling with my dental health. 
it, you know, it wasn't like I was getting new cavities or need root canals or anything like that. But every time I'd go for a cleaning, you know, my gums would bleed too much. And, you know, they do those probing tests and, you know, weren't happy with the results, you know, and they had to do a lot of scraping to get the dental plaque off my teeth. You know, those sharp instruments that, you know, just is not a pleasant experience. Now, this is really kind of ticking me off for two reasons. One, I knew how important oral health or the health of the mouth is to our overall health. And two, I thought I was already doing the right things, you know, the things I was supposed to be doing. You know, that's flossing, brushing, using mouthwash, you know, daily. So my hygienist suggested using a water pick before brushing to help clean the gum line. So I went out and bought one that day and it was a big help. You know, I still use it today and, and absolutely love it. But then I really learned something else, you know, just like there's this gut microbiome where we need a healthy balance of friendly bacteria and bad bacteria in our intestines, the same thing was going on in the mouth and oral cavity. You know, and frankly, the mouthwash I was religiously using, you know, daily may have been hurting more than it was helping, right? Because these mouthwashes, these antimicrobial mouthwashes, they kill all bacteria, the good stuff along with the bad stuff. You know, it's, they're not selective. Now, you may say, well, what about mouthwash for bad breath? Well, all mouthwash really does for bad breath is te temporarily mask breath odor. odor. It doesn't target the root cause of your bad breath. Now, fortunately, I was introduced to the Bliss Oral Probiotics about this time. And after studying the research for some time, we decided to move forward with the first version of True OC with the, both the K12 and M18 strains. So I eliminated the mouthwash and added True OC along with the flossing, brushing, and the water pick. And this has catapulted my tooth and my gum health to the best it's been in my life. Easy statement for me to make, completely true. Um, I no longer dread going to get my teeth cleaned. Um, you know, in some ways I look forward to it. You know, I don't want to jinx myself because I literally have a, a, a cleaning come up in two days. But but no, seriously, there's no bleeding now when they're cleaning my teeth. You know, when they do those little uh, probing tests for the pockets, the results are much, much better. And there's a lot less scraping to remove dental plaque. So that suggests, you know, there's a lot less dental plaque forming on my teeth. So could not be more happier with True OC to complement the rest of my oral hygiene uh, routine. So how do the Bliss strains work? Well, let's start M18 since we've been discussing dental health. Bliss M18 works to help protect tooth and gums and teeth and gums in several ways. While many probiotics work by boxing out the bad bacteria and protecting us against its overgrowth, M18 can go a step further by producing three naturally occurring peptides that can actively target and inhibit, inhibit some of the bad stuff. Okay. In, in addition, M18 has unique enzyme producing capabilities that allows it to interfere with the dental plaque formation and neutralize acid that can harm teeth and gums. Now, no other oral probiotic that we know of, or at least I'm aware of, uh, demonstrates this type of activity. So it's unique to M18 and very important. So for example, the acid that M18 helps neutralize, this acid can degrade tooth enamel, contribute to cavities, and even ultimately tooth loss. So this is an important feature of M18 uh, by helping neutralize this acid. Now, the research with Bliss 18 looked at four measures of dental health to assess its effects. You know, first was the amount of dental plaque. Uh, second was gum infl inflammation, the pocket depth. You know, they you know they they look measure the pockets. They say one, two, three, four, and also just the amount of bleeding. So starting after eight, uh, 30 days and continuing. Uh, up until the study ended, which I think was 60 days, study participants using M18 experienced a significant improvement on all these measures compared to the placebo group. So now importantly, it did take 30 days for the effects of M18 to be noticed. You know, they, they measured um, the effects after 15 days and there wasn't yet a difference, okay? So you do have to give it a little time, but after 30 days, there was a significant difference versus the placebo and that improved 
after 45 days and 60 days at the end of the study. So switching now to the other probiotic or the oral probiotic, which is Bliss K12, it can target the root cause of bad, bad breath, which is volatile sulfur compounds. Okay, these, culfer, these compounds are released when certain bacteria breaks, you know, certain bacteria break down proteins on the tongue and bad breath results. Bliss works to inhibit these bacteria, thereby targeting the source of bad breath instead of just masking it like rinses, mouthwashes, gums, or sprays. Okay, it's a big difference. And it's another thing too, I'm not missing my mouthwash at all when it comes to, you know, bad breath. It's, you know, it's, it's um, it, you know, it works to me, uh, for me, just even better because again, I'm not masking, you know, my breath for, you know, a couple of hours. We're actually dealing with the root cause of the bad breath. So the effects are much more, you know, much more, last a lot longer. Now, research shows that K-12 helps reduce these volatile sulfur compounds, which again are the root cause of bad breath, after about 14 days of use. So again, you have to give it a little time, but once it starts to work and you continue using the product, I think you'll really be pleased with the benefits. On top of helping us to reduce bad breath, numerous studies show that K-12 helps support ear, nose, and throat health immune defenses in a way that many probiotics work, which is by crowding out and inhibiting undesirable bacteria. In this way, K12 may protect upper respiratory health, which again is a gateway to overall health. So it's very important to protect and support our upper respiratory health. Now, interestingly, most of the research with K12 has been conducted on children since they're more in need of ear, uh, nose, and throat support. But studies showing benefits also have been done with and confirmed with humans. So the combination of Bliss M18 and, K, and Bliss K12 that you get in True OC is not something you want to miss, right? Because you get all these benef benefits. You get the dental health benefits, helps reduce bad breath. And of course, we get the ability to help protect and stimulate our immune defenses when it comes to upper respiratory health. And remember, as a bonus, Truosi also features aloe vera in addition to the Bliss M18 and Bliss K12 oral probiotic strains. There's a lot of interesting research. Um, you know, we follow aloe vera very closely, as you know, as you may know, if you know Nature City. And there's been a lot of great uh, research with aloe vera and supporting uh, gum health. So it's a perfect complement to the oral probiotics in Truosi. Now you can find OC at naturecity.com. You know, this is a product that can be used by the entire family, right? You know, both your children and adults. And, you know, I know how I love it. You've heard my personal experience with it. And I'm confident you will too. And please um, share this uh, information. Again, I feel it's one of the most underrated supplements out there. People don't know about the benefits of oral probiotics like they do other probiotics and other supplements in general. So please, if you know someone who can you know, potentially benefit from the use of um, these, these probiotics, please share the episode. Also, please subscribe and like the episode, um, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also available on your favorite streaming services, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and some others. So that's it for this week's episode. I'm Carl Pardelli, and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.